Hello, back again for another slackline vlog day in the life of me. <laughs> Got a healthy almond snack. I'm barefoot once again, finding good grass. And I'm gonna just teach you guys, whoever's watching, but probably me, you know, because I get to edit these and use it as a tool to better see how I interact with the things I like. I'm gonna do a one inch line. It's gonna be primitive. Probably do a surf line and probably do a tension version. Teach you guys what that means and why I think it's good for building balance. It's definitely an intermediate line compared to the beginner two inch line, but there's ways to make it easier. So I'm gonna do my best to do that. Got my yoga mat. I got a little, I got the line in there. Also I got my meditative meditation blade kit. There we go, uh, with me. So I'll probably do a little bit of those, film it. Uh, and I'm excited for this one. I hope you guys are too. We're gonna try to go back to Rosedale. If that doesn't work, maybe we'll go to the cathedral. You can kind of see it poking up in between the street. I heard that they're spraying here, but it's a beautiful area. So we're gonna go check it out. Hopefully they aren't spraying chemicals all over my, well, not my, but the beautiful trees here. Rosedale. So I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, not guys, girls too. We gotta break that habit. I made a post today on Instagram today about uh, what I was doing to break old habits and replace them with new habits. So if you, just a quick little side note, if you wanna break some habits, replace them with a good positive habit. Um, for me, I replaced drinking and smoking with running, yoga, and meditation. Something that I've been doing and playing with in college for a while out of college, I kind of got into it, but I've really gotten serious ever since my move to DC. And, you know, before, uh, just with life changing, hitting 25, feeling like I need to be doing something with my life, but I am doing something with my life every day. I'm living, I'm loving it. I hope you are too. I hope you enjoy this video. <laughs> See you soon. All right, so we're at the Slackline spot. I've got all my Slackline materials I picked out two good trees. This is my one inch line and you can see one end is, there's no knot, okay? And I've pre-tied a figure eight bite on the other. So just like that two inch line, I'm gonna wrap this end around that tree right there and then thread the rest of the line through coming to me. And then I'm gonna take one of my anchors, which these are just also one inch tubular line. This is from different length trees, I guess width trees. Um, I'm gonna wrap that around and put one carabiner on. And you can use these wire gates, but I prefer the ovals for slack lining because it has better surface area on both ends for a one inch line. And then this is an O-ring, but first I'm gonna show you a surf line. So it's gonna, I'm gonna use as little of this as possible to show you how to set up the cheapest slack line possible. You can go minimal length, for how far you wanna go. And for a beginner line, you're gonna to wanna to go a lot cheaper. So we can go short with this, just like that, one anchor and one beaner. And I will show you what that looks like here in a second when I go to set it up. So, yeah. Okay, so I've got it set up and ready to finish. So I've got the one inch tubular webbing through the figure eight bite, threaded through, locked off. Okay, and it comes straight over. And I like to keep it flat to my anchor with a beaner on the tree, okay? So I'm gonna tie a clove hitch and I will try to show you what that means. Um, and that's gonna be a surf line, right? There's no tension. So I'm gonna get that set up. I'm gonna try to, I guess, hold this camera like so, okay and display a clove hitch, one loop and two loops. I hope you guys could see that. You can't. <laughs> it's not very good. I'm gonna set it up and then re-show you guys. Just kidding, all right, here we go. This is gonna be, oops, what it looks like to set it up. If I could just do that. Maybe you're gonna be able to see. I don't know. Either way, let's do it. 
Nothing has to be perfect in life, right? I'm gonna see where I need to get my knot, just about to there. And then, do my clove hitch. And you wanna crank on that lower strand so then it locks into position. And that's what it looks like when it's finished, okay? Clove hitch. You can look that one up online. I'm not gonna try to display it too, too much. And you need to set it kind of high. You can see it's about neck height for me over here. That's why I say it's intermediate. If you're a beginner, maybe don't hop on this right away, but then again, it is the cheapest way to do a slack line. All you need is one tree anchor, one beaner, know how to do a clove hitch, and enough line to go from here to there. And you can pick trees that are really short or even shorter sometimes like honestly six to eight feet will give you a really good practice area and then you this line stays a lot tighter when it's shorter the longer you go with slack lines the harder it is so i'm going to just show you what this looks like to walk this version and then maybe i'll set up another version for you guys so i think right here okay there we are so as you can see it gets looser the more time you spend on it so you might have to readjust this clove hitch just by pulling it a little closer see how there's all that slack there you could probably do your clove hitch a little bit closer and so you'll get really good at this I guess hitch, and then it comes in handy for rock climbing, PASs, um, really a lot of different uses. We don't need to get into rock climbing right now, but this is an awesome tool. So this is the cheapest version of a slack line you can do. I'm gonna quickly show you another one. All right, everybody, I thought I was filming. I wasn't. This is the upgraded tension version of the cheapest version of the slack line you can do. Okay, so all you need more than the cheapest, instead of just having one carabiner, you're gonna have now two and an O-ring, okay? The O-ring, I will show you in a second on the next setup, how to put this through. So stay tuned. And then I'm gonna do an advanced tension system, but you can see this one holds the line on top of itself on both carabiners and then creates tension, which then creates, you know, an easier line than a surf line. So real quick, I'm gonna just show you a, a walk. So I'm gonna adjust this with one more beaner just to show you the full tension. Cause this one's hard to get a lot of tension into by pulling. You see, I can only get about this tight. I'm gonna try to go even tighter. So, the way to put the line lock for our carabiner is to pull the loop, this is our top walking side, push it through, hold the line like that, pull the back of the finger, and then up and in. And you wanna press it all the way up front to where you then have a little spot. So, and that's our line lock. That's gonna allow us to create a pulley system. So I'm gonna set up that with, I'll show you. So line lock with the beaner to our anchor, to our other anchor with another beaner. I'm gonna get it set up and show you. All right, so I got the line lock with the beaner. I've got it pre-threaded, so I did all the work. And then there's two, okay? So my lowest one from the line lock, you can see, right? I'm gonna come follow it up and in, and then back, up and in, and then it's gonna go down and in, and down and in, and then give me this tail. This one, obviously you have to go back under the main line to create more friction, and then you can pull. I'm gonna pull real quick and show you that I can get it really nice and tight. So 
See, I've got two beaners. One gives me a lot more ability to get it tight. So I'm gonna walk it and show you what that looks like. Lots of fun, a little bit bouncier. And it's gonna loosen up as you walk it, so then you can just pull and get it tighter again. That's three ways to do a cheap, easy slack line. Not necessarily beginner, but intermediate, advanced. You can make it as easy as you can by going shorter, adding a little bit of tension. Just get used to it. Hang from it, get upside down on it. I'll show you what I mean. It'll just build you body awareness of how that line's gonna act. fun things you can do with the line if you're not ready to walk it. That's why I think this is technically a beginner line. It's cheap, it's easy, you can set it up higher than a two inch line, or you can set two of these up, and then you have a handrail to walk across, if you can picture it, okay? So I hope everyone enjoyed my little easy slack line beginner mode. I'm gonna set it up how I like to do it, which is a surf line. It's a little bit harder than the tension. I'm gonna play around on it, film it, and then I'm gonna post this video for everyone to enjoy and see. Get outside, balance, have fun. Let's do a little barefoot. I'm gonna get ready and do some meditation and yoga. Beautiful day, gotta take advantage of it. It's a little loud and noisy, but it's okay with me. All right, love you all, enjoy. All right, this is a surf line. I got the high anchors, nice and loose. The hard one. 